Leo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for October 30th through to November the 5th. So let's jump on in and see what's on the cards, Leo. Before I do though, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for me, you might want to think about leaving me a comment and subscribing to my channel if you do enjoy the readings. It's what keeps them coming and also when you do drop me a comment or subscribe to my channel, you are in my energetic collective so it's easier for me to tune your energy and read for you. Um, if you would like a personal reading or healing at any time, there is a first link down below that will take you to my website. You can check out what I offer or learn more about me over there. Um, there is also my freebies. I've got a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide, my free Karmic Community, that's my email newsletter. There's my paid offering, which is my immersive tarot course, and my Instagram account. I'm super active and interactive over there with more daily readings and spiritual inspo. So that's all there for you. Now let's crack on with your reading, Leo. I'm starting with a Moonology Oracle card and I have, well, I've pulled your card. It's the new moon in Leo. And it says confidence is the key to your success. Well, you're normally pretty confident, Leo, but maybe you need to ramp it up even more. Uh, you know, tuning into your Leo energy, it's the strength, courage, bravery to follow your heart. Maybe towards a new direction or a new level here. A new level of success. Now you're also the king of wands and that can be a leadership energy. Maybe you're wanting to step up in leadership in you know work career or in your relationship to really move towards your true vision. Confidence will be the key to your success. All right Leo we need more information on this. I've got just the major arcana here. The 22 big themes of the tarot and for you I've got the strength card oh wow okay look you know this is your major arcana and it is strength courage bravery to follow the heart um you know I really feel I'm feeling more work careers -y in this let's see what comes out so you're really needing to, to step into your full power with all of your Leo energy coming through. Sometimes, you know, the strength card, it shows this, this line here, that inner beast that can rear its head. When we're getting really close to uh, pushing through with a goal, it can be our fears, worries, anxieties, what if I don't meet those expectations? We need to soothe that under control so we can really hear the guidance of the higher self. Okay, Leo. Let's get four cards from the Rider weight, and then we will then clarify as we go. High Priestess in the situation. Seven of Swords. Okay, that is in the challenge. Stepping up in leadership. Page of Cups in the advice, right? And there might have been a wrongdoing, or we have to be mindful of sabotaging opportunity when the Seven of Swords comes into a reading. Oof, the Hierophant here. The Sun at the bottom of the deck, that is a third hit of your Leo energy in this reading. So I've got this real energy of a positive outcome around a contract or commitment, but you're thinking about not going for this, Leo, Seven of Swords. And I think this is a you thing. I don't think we're dealing with actually deceptive people here. I'm feeling it with your Leo energy coming through so strongly. Your guides are saying, come on, Leo, you know, we're doing this. We're moving ahead. You might be feeling out of energy for change or for embracing the new at the moment. But yeah, you're needing to see the bigger picture here, King of Swords. Okay. I think your intuition is telling you that, you know, it is time to go in a new direction here. But like I said, it might be that you're feeling tired or, you don't think you can do this. Do I really have this in me? Well, the King of Swords is asking you to zoom out and see the bigger picture here. This is a strategic move to get yourself where you really want. And you will look back and see how all the, the dots have connected for you. The High Priestess often can't give us a guarantee of what's behind the screen. But what she can tell us, Leah, is that it's fertile with growth, success, opportunity and what you make of it like all the potential is there but what you get back from this will be what you make of it the energy that you invest being in your confidence and in your power 
I am getting strong, you know, level up leadership energy with the Hierophant and with the King of Swords. So this could be you applying for a promotion at work and thinking, oh, could I really lead a team? Could I really be in charge of those projects? You know, what if I dropped the ball? Well, you need to own it and be in your confidence, right? It feels like you are climbing the ladder or like stretching, you know, beyond your envelope in some way. But we've got to be mindful of the Seven of Swords, Leo. And I really feel this is the, well, I just won't do it because it feels, you know, a bit hard or I'm genuinely worried about not, not you know, shining here. Oh, it's with the Seven of Cups here. But if we don't do that, if we don't follow through with this, then seven of cups we're in the illusion that we can you know reach the levels of success that we want by keeping on playing safe or doing what we have always done the seven of cups can be where our dreams aren't really materializing uh, or they're sort of staying in an illusion because maybe there are, is some sabotage here so we need to really, that's why we're the King of Swords is here, because it's getting ultimate clarity. It's, you know, seeing the truth. It's looking at exactly what is required here. And it's really about accepting this Page of Cups offer or going for it. That yes, it might feel different and it might feel a little bit out of your comfort zone. And it might be unexpected that this opportunity has come up right now. But maybe this is the very key to you overcoming that energy of, of sabotage or that I, you know, feeling like I can't do this. Well, once you actually start this and begin, you know, getting success, I just don't think you're going to look back. I've got the lovers here. And the lovers, you know, is a card of new partnership. It can also be a, a card of choice. Like before this was known as a card of just love in the tarot. It was the biggest card of choice around big heartfelt matters, okay? So this feels very close to your heart, right? And maybe because you need to step into your vulnerability, your vulnerable power, in order to step onto what will be a successful new path. I mean, the sun is here, Leo. And the sun doesn't come into a reading unless this is a positive path for you. And it's a yes card. So if your question is, do I, don't I? Well, the answer is yes. It might have been unexpected, but it feels like it can bring harmony into your life. Now, with the, the Hierophant and the Page of Cups in the reading, what you're saying yes to, even though you might be stepping up in a more of a, a leadership way here, it might be within a startup company or something more creative or something less traditional. And that could be where the, the fear is coming in. Oh, it doesn't, it might not be as stable or secure, you know, secure. But, you know, you've got a real opportunity here. And we have to trust in that. The Hierophant talks about spiritual lessons. And I think you're overcoming a spiritual lesson. But also there's a lesson in backing yourself and going your own way. And that's what's going to lead to the win and the growth, the rebirth. And ultimately, there's abundance on offer. My gosh, Leo, can we just stop getting your cards? I've got the strength card again. It's saying, come on, Leo. All roads lead to you stepping into your strength, courage, and bravery. And this is your minor arcana, the king of wands. Leo, I've got one, two, three, four, five Leo cards. The Seven of Swords keeps coming up. And that's why your guides have to keep sending me your energy and saying, come on, Leo, there's a new moon opportunity. Follow your intuition. Step up and lead. This is in connection with your vision. And it's just waiting for you to come to the party. So I, I've got a, this could be an entrepreneurial journey. This might be you stepping up in leadership, boss, CEO, manager, team leader, supervisor. And maybe you didn't see this coming or it was an unexpected opportunity, but we have to trust in divine timing and we have to back ourselves in rising to the challenge. Keep the big picture in mind, Leo. This is how you actually manifest the success that you've wanted to. It feels like a big choice, but in my opinion, with what I'm seeing here, I actually think it's a divine no-brainer for you. You're overcoming powerful lessons in the process. The sun is out.
their, you know, your guides have given you their blessing. They are literally giving you the wink and saying, come on, Leo, step over the threshold. You know, the, the water is fine here. So I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Um, so much of your energy here. Wishing you the very best with it. If you would like a personal reading, you can follow the first link down below if you want to tune into your situation specifically. Uh, I'm sending you so much love and magic, and I'm just going to say bye for now.